Folks, when we get closer to the elections, I might blab my mouth a little bit about political. But what I do supply you with is truth in data sharing all the time, folks. And uh, no commercials. I'm not bought and paid for. And I'm not promoting what I want. I'm just talking about what's going on. Okay? And we've seen what was going on in my last video because we pretty much know that everything that they got down there is like this. And Dan... I'm looking more at the data and I just get all wet because there is just tons of data down there for us to look at. We don't need pictures. We already got the truth a while back and we get it from other sources. So I'm pretty sure we'll see some live webcams working around again down there because let's see what we got now. So what we got now, folks, is straight out data that's not going to lie to you. And pretty much when I start looking at the data because they stop showing us something else, the truth bleeds even more. Here is our objects coming in over time and so we got a lot of stuff and you can also go and just like it says you can click to listen yep when it goes through the air whether it's hitting our stratosphere or whether it's here on earth and yes ladies and gentlemen we you are, if you're an american you are the safest humanoid on the face of the blue planet and i.e look at what they can hear folks this is down here on the ground okay and then we got this up here. And for security purposes, if this doesn't get out, I understand that I'm not trying to give up any kind of secrets. It's the idea that we're looking at just sniffing at the air. Okay. So if they do have a big ass radar dome down there that everybody keeps on trying to blow smoke up my ass about the idea that that's causing the shadow, then what the hell is causing this? Yeah. Something's making noise and coming down, dropping 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 just like when you look at the technology that we have for spectrography that we look at asteroids when they come down and hit the ground ladies and gentlemen and I don't not even got time to go to that right now but I'll actually be able to pop through my pictures and I will actually that'll what I'll throw up there next I will throw you a shot and you can also go to my Beano Black channel go to my click on my pirate link that's at YouTube and remember that's why I don't I you know I'm pro YouTube. I wish that the you know big money didn't make it. Uh, you know, if I'm making more money somewhere <laughs> that I don't know about, the idea that Facebook and YouTube are having sex in bed together now. Anyway, something happened, and it just keeps on thinking that it's the idea that like other people, which I don't promote, because the idea that I do go for a lot of what he sits and goes blah 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 blah. Yes, we have to watch our constitutional rights are getting robbed from us. Uh, watch what's going on on Monday and, and so forth and any day at everybody should watch C-SPAN any kid should watch and see how our judicial system and how our House and Senate operate okay and the idea that a committee in secrecy cannot steal the constitutional rights of American citizens so that's what this big dog is sitting barking about and I ain't got time to light up a cigar and and sit back and show you me personally sitting here smoking my stogie and having an, uh, any cold drink and being a big prick. I'm just going to kill everybody with data. And in my personal life, uh, any legal better get some gloves on because there's going to be some paper cuts coming pretty soon. Someone's been messing around with my kids. I'm going to see somebody in court. So anyway, here we go with, uh, I'll give you an image of the uh and most people that do know and are into this stuff looking into space so far to know about asteroids you will know what i'm talking about when you see another picture okay and another no thing real quick when i went to show you this picture that when i'm going to show you here real fast i actually just click to it so you get to the point and when i'll tell you what i'm showing you there they're basically and you and i'm sorry about this here but anyway i'm not looking it's basically got caught on the picture let me see if i go to what i had at the time of uh, this is old plow I guess so this is a little interesting and you can see how we don't see the black anomaly showing up there as the sun comes up real bright okay and then th through the darkness also there so so here's an example of meteor detection if you uh, can understand me just doing a mic check there you can uh, blow this up on full screen because I'm just blocking out advertising folks is the idea that it was on this is a picture I took and it had advertising on it and we even stuck with the crap up here inundated on your screen every day of when you look at something then you try to make a movie and let's give you an example of inundated with BS is the idea I can bring this down and give you an idea of and then I think I can redrag that and can I drag well anyway we got this here that I went ahead and uh, comment about 
this this keeps on trying to pull this radar dome bullshit on us and stuff like that. And uh, is the idea that uh, number one, uh, someone shouldn't say that they're going to try to kill themselves or something on the internet. Uh, and anyway, uh, that the idea that uh, I'm sure he was just joking. So the idea that uh, what we have here is uh, we're getting fed BS, like Major League, because this guy just cannot stop talking about this. But the thing is, he can't produce a person that he says, oh, I have a friend that works down there. Well, if you got a friend that works down there, prove it. And the idea that if you got him fired, that's your fault, not mine, because I'm showing you pictures and I'm just showing you the truth. And the idea that you can fake bake as much as you want, but the truth is, it's the idea that everybody keeps on trying to film me full of BS that's down there. And we've seen on pictures what's down there. Okay? Uh, so, I, I've caught him in the fake bake of the image, trying to show that radar dome, because I blew it up at a 1,000%. And it's just like my original video, if you go to it. And let's go to that again real fast. So, it's this one, folks, and even the one before. It uh, shows the truth that basically... PSYOPs and BS is trying to cover up the idea that there's something down there, okay? And the idea that we need to keep an eye on stuff that's in space, folks, because the idea that they're not going to tell us the truth if anything was going to happen, okay? And the rotation thing, I'm working on that. Maybe I'm going to fit that in the video here. And as you can see, even sound is not invisible. But anything that's moving through the air is going to show that. And it pretty much, if you end up looking at and figuring out the time and reading this to the right, or whatever you can look at all the Nehemiah data, you will, you will be able to bleed more truth for Vino out because the idea that these objects are out there and they come by. And we see it on Fireball Network, as I've showed you in my other videos. You need to watch all my videos. I know it ends up being a lot of time, but it sure shows you a bunch of truth. So in layman terms, no matter what, folks, this is sound on Earth. This is sound in the air up into the atmosphere and off, off into space. Yes, we can hear, the U.S. military can hear a cricket fart on friggin' Neptune or your anus. And it's not no spot on the damn camera or anything like that because we're zoomed in to 400. And let me get 1,000 real fast. And I grew up watching a, sh a certain, which basically, anyway, we all go to Disneyland, and the idea that that's not Tinkerbell, and that's not a satellite, and I'll unzoom from a thousand percent right now, and that's the corner of the object we just showed you here, and this is down December 1st at, matter of fact, I'll just slide up, I'm, don't fake bake you, that's December 1st, 2011, 19,100 hours. And we're down at the British one, and we thank the British for this shot. And there we go. And then we zoom out. We'll pop it to 400% real fast. The object is still there. It's not a nominally of anything man-made or a camera, this or that, okay? And all this stuff in between here, if you go to the shots and look out, and you'll be end up being able to see if someone's blotching you something out on a photo shot. And the idea of distance and how big and humongous this thing is, more than likely, could still be here even bleeding through the cloud cover that I showed you in my last video. And here we are, and there is a V on the roof, and possibly still some remnants again today of it. Yep, wow, nice shot, huh? Okay. I got glare from light coming through the window, so then I've got to even look up and tilt, look through the field, and there, there, there it is. And no matter what, there it is, and it looks different, so it's not a smudge. Okay, there's the time. All right, and then you see it. You can even see it in a smaller shot, and then you zoom in, and you, from here I just start looking, and it's like I haven't zoomed even even zoomed in yet. But check out how those two clouds right there are totally different color than anything. Now over here, there's a little bit of somewhat of reflection, but the idea of which is that, which one is that, and the idea there's the image still getting uh. I'm thinking of the word to say the idea that that is still getting in and see check those two clouds out how they're getting the color right there where we know the object was has been the last couple of days and then the idea that it object is still getting hologram that's what I'm looking for Hol it's just getting still getting holograph uh, hologrammed holographic and how it looks like a frog and a fish a lot you know tons of times the way it flips over it's pretty freaky but it's just the idea that it is the object that we've all been seeing in the telescope and everything like that that's up there and more than likely it's either that way off up in space or it's this and we get all kinds of different images of it, it there's stuff up there let's go to soho folks i 
I like to use the satire to get points across. The super giants, I must be all totally wrong, because look at all the new material that's up on behind the sun. So we know Bino is totally wrong on the super giants, which I'm not. Check that out. There's just a hell of, and if you watch all my videos, so there's a hell of a lot of new material. So the sun constantly keeps on getting robbed as it goes down the back alley through the super giants and uh gets a bunch of rocks hit it in the head here so anyway if that is our sun but then we got our object that if you watch my past videos too let me blow that up to a thousand so if you watch my past videos we have an x-ray shot of this material and there as you can see is a shot from the latest and just bop back on the video and find the time because the idea that it's that there you go right there so that's that object right there at a thousand percent so, and I'm sure everybody's researched this. I don't have time to research our satellite that much for this bugger. All I've done through our time looking at shots, we do know that X-ray is sure capability. Uh, whether the sun rays do that, we can give government a little bit of an excuse. That, oh, well, the sun rays do that when it's so damn bright, you can see. So anyway, take the panties off this stuff. It seems like when you talk porno statistics, people pay attention a little bit more to what you're saying. But anyway... Uh, I mean, some girl can show her hoochie cooch or a pair of boobies or something nasty, a little bit pornographic on the internet. And so in the future, some more, uh, I'm going to be doing it on purpose to try to basically let a little bit of people uh, just accidentally bump into some information here of all this stuff up there with its clothes off. And I want to thank the Navy for the shots. These are beautiful. Uh, a lot of material here. I'm at 400% scanning through it so you can blow it up. And you can also go to it and find this stuff. So, as we drop back down, tons of action because this stuff, these asteroid belts and stuff, there's one that flops around and then they give us these images down here on Earth. So, all this stuff, when you see four, anything of a diamond or triangulation shape up in space, if it gets around the sun, wherever time it travels through space, it ends up giving us a hologram down here on Earth. And sometimes this stuff gets close because, a duh, we look at the moon, we see craters, we know stuff. And if you research Nibiru and Oricus, which is basically more than likely our second moon, and who knows how many moons the Earth has. Oricus is Oric uh, uh, just like Oracle, massive data storage. It's part of this, uh, whatever, you look up, in, I mean, languages of anything and you'll see aura ends up being massive like orca killer whale orcas uh, orcas island uh, the guy named the object that he found after orcas island it still means large you know so just check all those big ass triangulations out here in space and these new objects because the idea that if you start counting these and you realize how big this stuff is we got a lot more planets than they ever teach us when we we're in school and I hope the hell in astronomy in our school systems in America that we start teaching our kids the truth of what's actually up there and instead of fake baconess it's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that out there there's tons of planets out there folks we need to get out there can you imagine building a housing track just on one of these babies there's a lot of jobs for people out there just spread out the more we spread out the more money we make folks massive population all scrunched in in the city somewhere Sorry, but I don't go for it. It's always control. Wide open spaces, lots of money to be made. Check out all this. Space is ready to be inhabited, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get the hell out there. So there we go, folks. Current shot on three. And and the Navy shows us straight up, not upside down like the public looks at. So flip that Soho probably around. Either that or they listen to my video and they change that around. At least we don't see any fake, uh, and so whatever. Whoever threw the fake bake on the idea of showing uh, that radar dome down there, Nehemiah, you got your pants down, and you're getting laughed at. And it won't be the first time, and it probably won't be the last. All I know is I'm right in the middle of a bunch of things. Squeeze me like an Oreo cookie. I'm white, and I'm in the middle, and I don't care because I'm stinking rich. Later, folks. Be no black, and I'll put the legal disclaimer on the end. Talk to you later. More fresh data soon. Legal disclaimer. Watch all the old videos and watch the new ones coming soon.